Blender for Noobs. Hello and welcome to Blender for Noobs. In this video we're going to talk a little bit about what is 3D Blender? Where did it come from? Well, the Blender that you know today is a free open source uh, program that you can use to do modeling, animating, all kinds of good stuff. But it wasn't always that way. It was actually developed as an in-house application by the Dutch animation studio Neo Geo. And a little bit later after that, it became shareware. And when that went away, uh, it was actually put into the general public license by this man, who actually was the driving force behind creating Blender. So now, what, what do we have today with Blender? I mean, most people know about the modeling interface, but Blender's features include 3D modeling, UV unwrapping, texturing, rigging, skinning, fluid and smoke simulation, particle simulation, soft body simulation, animating, match moving, camera tracking, rendering, video editing, compositing, and it also built, features a built-in game engine. I mean, all that in this one free package, which is actually not a very big package. And um, I mean, it, uh, Blender's taken a lot of criticism from the 3D industry as being, you know, all oh, this is it's this free program that has come out and it's not that great and doesn't really do that much and it doesn't compare to the the 3D packages out there that you have to pay for, you know, pay hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars for. But you know, all that is really changing quite dramatically and, and quite quickly. Blender has really come up in the ranks and really has proven itself. I mean, now with version 2.6, so many features are integrated into Blender that really it's starting to be really on par with those programs that you have to pay all that money for. And I think Blender is starting to really raise some eyebrows around in the industry. In fact, did you know that Blender has actually been used in a professional Hollywood movie production, Spider-Man 2? Now, it was only used for the, anima and, and, yeah, and, nah, the animatics for that, but um, it was used in the professional production. Now, along with that sort of thing, it's also been used to create short films, mostly sponsored by the uh, Blender Foundation in the uh, core group of users. Films like Big Buck Bunny, Sintel, and Tears of Steel. The latter, Tears of Steel, actually used... Was, it was the first one to use live action integrated with animation. Really, really cool stuff. Now, what's even more amazing and cool is that you can take all these movies, you can download them and watch them for free. You can download the models, study them. You know, all the different aspects that went into making the films. All that is, is, is open source, so you can take it and look at it and, and, you know, use it for your own enjoyment. It's really amazing. It's great. So with having this great, you know, this nice program that is free, you may feel like I do, you know, you feel like, man, I really need to give something back to this because, you know, I get all this for free. And if you feel that way, go to blender.org and you can actually uh, donate there. Uh, you know, donate as little as much as you want. You know, if you, if you can afford, all you can afford is $5 or whatever. Uh, I would donate that to them and that would en enable the developers to do more and more great things for the program. Uh, another way you can donate is buy some of those um, those movies that I talked about, like Tears of Steel, you can buy the DVDs, which gives you this ton of material with them. Uh, and uh, that way you can help also further the, further the uh, program. So now that you know a little bit more about the history of Blender and what it is, go out and create any and everything that you want to, because you can do it with Blender.